Hi, I'm John Holliday, Senior Product Development Manager here at YKK USA Global Marketing Group. And we're here today at the Functional Fabric Fair in Portland, Oregon. And we're gonna bring another Tech Talk series here to go a little bit more in depth than one of our featured products that we have here at the show. And the product that we're featuring today is called our Airy String product, pictured here. So with this zipper, it's targeting center front zippers in particular. And what it's gonna do is essentially eliminate that zipper tape fabric or zipper tape from our zipper design. And this allows the fabric to be sewn directly to those zipper elements in this core string here. And to kind of highlight the specifics of this design innovation, I wanna backtrack a little bit and explain why zipper tape is so important. So you see here our, our standard zipper for our number five Vizlon, and the tape is a core component of the zipper design. It's really the basis for all of our zipper types, whether it's Vizlon, a coil, a metal, a conceal, or other zippers. And what this allows for us is to give us a very consistent base for the product and allow us to have consistent strength, durability, and overall function of the zipper. But when we eliminate the zipper tape and apply it to the airy string, and then are able to apply that fabric directly to the elements, there's a lot of distinct advantages that we can get with that. One, of course, is with the weight savings. So with removing that zipper tape versus a standard number five Vizlon zipper, we'll have about a 26% reduction in zipper weight. Also, by removing the zipper tape, we're gonna get a lot more flexibility and better hand fill out that, and about a 23% increase just versus our standard number five Bizon zipper with the standard tape. Another thing that we notice is that when we replace the zipper tape and put it with a softer, better hand fill fabric is that we do see some improved slider or zipper operation or just general operability. And then most significantly when you're applying this zipper to the fabric is you're going to get a very clean design and visual. So the tape is going to be gone completely. Your fabric is going to be connected directly to the elements and you're going to get that ultimate tapeless look and feel as well as maximize the fabric feel and performance that you would just otherwise not have with a traditional zipper setup. Going into some specifics for the airy string itself, I want to go through the various components that make up the zipper. And the first one, probably the most important, is the core string that you see here at the top. This is effectively replacing the zipper tape as we know it. All of these subsequent components, whether it be the top stop, the elements, these open parts components, are all going to be injected and secured to this core string. We do have an updated element shape now. We've updated this to a VDR element shape, which is more of a triangulated, technical tooth shape that's, again, going to give us that more techie look, but also when we join the zipper together, it's going to help close those gaps up when it's in its closed state. Going to the end components, we have, of course, a top stop. It is different than your standard top stop shape, uh, like our traditional injected eye palm shape, but effectively works in the same way that we would have there. Next and most importantly is we have this separated pin and box structure, as you see here. Uh, the pin is our integrated into that core string. The box will be its own individual component that's assembled later. And then most importantly, we have this injected wing structure here. And this is going to replace your traditional reinforcement film. Since we don't have any tape, of course, we have nowhere to apply this traditional film. So we've created this injected structure that we're gonna sew across with a specialized sewing machine we'll talk about later. When it comes to sliders, we have two primary slider types available. One is the DAK that you see pictured here today. And then we also have our DSSYG sliders. The reason these sliders were selected is that they both have a wider slider rail clearance of about 1.6 millimeters. And that's just gonna open it up and allow you to use a wider range of fabrics uh, up to about a 1.3 millimeter in thickness. Speaking of the fabric, I talked about the kind of targeted thickness that we have uh, after sewing. So that 1.3 millimeter is with the fabric itself and the sewing thread after sewing it into the elements. We also, with the fabric that we select, have to go through an evaluation process. We call it our GCR, our garment checking recommendation process that's required. And this is gonna look at things like the fabric thickness, the overall stretch of that fabric, and then just the compatibility of that fabric to applying it to the airy string zipper. Also, we have to look at things like the sewing settings or make any additional mock-ups or prototypes that might be needed just to have a proof of concept for applying airy string to your targeted fabric. And one of the things to keep in mind as you look at utilizing airy string is it does require a longer development, I would say, than you would have with just applying a new cut zipper type. So obviously there's a lot more pieces involved here with looking at the fabric, the thicknesses, and the sewing specifications. Speaking of sewing airy string to the garment fabric, we have developed a dedicated sewing machine that was worked in collaboration with Juki Develop. 
This machine is manufactured by Juki and ultimately rented or leased out by YKK to your vendor or to the production location that you're utilizing. And with this machine, it utilizes a zigzag stitch sewing system. And really the key here is it has a new mechanisms to help to synchronize and precisely feed the elements and fabric during the sewing process. And the last thing I wanna to touch on is zipper strength. So I talked a lot about our zipper tape at the beginning and why that's crucial or a core aspect of our zipper design. That also goes for the YKK fastening standard or the strength test that we look at. So typically when we evaluate strength, the zipper tape is a part of that. So it dictates that ultimate strength we get. So when we remove that and now your fabric is directly replacing the elements, a lot of times that becomes the weak point into that zipper strength. So Instead of doing a crosswise strength where maybe the elements are breaking apart or you know, chipping away, now a lot of times that fabric becomes that failure point. So although our engagement of the elements themselves is equivalent to what you would have with a standard Vislon, you do need to take into consideration that ultimate strength might be affected now that you have that fabric replacing your zipper tape. Lastly, just going through the availability of this product, this is currently developed for our size five Vislon with that VTR element-like shape. Currently, it's only targeting the center front zipper, so open in only, and does have those limited colors like I talked about with the core string, just in black and the off-white, the element colors, which we have both a virgin material, which is available with our YKK Global Color Card in six metallic colors. We do offer a recycled palm element as well. It does have more limited colors with just being black and white, and then the six metallic colors that we talked about previously. Sliders we talked about, it's only gonna be that DAK and that DSSYG with a wider slider rail. And if you do wanna use your pull tabs, you can use custom pull shapes that you already have developed for DA or DS just once again. If you are interested in this product and wanna get more information, I would recommend that you look at the YKK's digital showroom page where you can find the product page for this item as well as some more articles in our inspiration corner which has how it works videos and articles about the Juki machine itself that we collaborated together with as well as some product development stories from early adopters of using the Airy String product. And if you do need some samples, you can have a contact page on the DSR to reach out to or of course, directly communicate with your YKK representative. Thank you for joining this Tech Talk today and we hope to see you at the next one.